Hi, Reader Pop. Welcome back to this channel. This is the first video I'm doing in the new library setup. If you missed all of this, it's on my main channel, but I wanted to introduce it to you guys over on here and pick out my reads for September. I made a little TBR jar. Rachel Catherine does this almost every month where she has this jar and there's different prompts in it and you just choose one out and then that's how you choose the books that you're going to read. I felt like I was writing prompts for ages and this is how full it looks, but I promise you there's like 20 prompts in here, but I still have books all over my shelves that I need to read. So I'm probably gonna choose about eight books and then I'll put them on the TBR shelf so we can see what I'm going to read in September. This is so exciting. Okay, let's choose a prompt. This is so nerve wracking. A thriller slash mystery. This is starting easy. From my new shelves, I could either choose Five Survive by Holly Jackson. She wrote the Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy, which is one of my favorite trilogies ever. And then she came out with this one and I've seen great reviews about it. I just kind of forgot to buy it. So I feel like I'll just fly through this book, but I also started the Naturals series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and I might want to pick up the sequel to the first one, but I think I'm going to choose Five Survive for this prompt because I just I know I'm gonna want to read this so first book this is fun I see why Rachel does this every month next we have furniture on the cover it is kind of a weird one I think I know one okay I was wrong I thought that this one had furniture on the cover but it's not it's like a camera on the cover so furniture on the cover that's kind of difficult this one has a tree house on it I don't think that counts Catherine Center is so nice and just sent me a bunch for books so I'm gonna open this and see if there's any furniture on any of these books give me a note it's so cute how to walk away and things you save in a fire are connected store I did not know that. Okay. Is this a bookmark? Or, oh, is it a necklace? Should I wear it? That's cute. Oh, this one has a ladder on it. That's a piece of furniture, right? Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. It's for my furniture on the cover prompt. This is a great floppy paperback. See, this TBR is so unique to anything I would choose. So this is a great way to choose books. Love how I'm just wearing a new necklace now. Oh, let's choose another one. A book with a person on the cover. This one will be easy. So many of the books that I want to read have people on the covers, so I'm just going to choose Between Us by Mari McFarlane. I think her romances are supposed to be a little bit more emotional and deep as well. And this one sounds so interesting because they're with their friends for a weekend at a country house and they start this new TV show. And as this girl is watching it, she's realizing it's about her own relationship in life, I think. And that just sounds fascinating. So I want to read this. I love how I don't tell you what books are about because I don't know what they're about. I just know that I love Catherine Center. Sure. So I read the book. You know what I mean? I don't even want to know what it's about. I just want to go in go into it. Next, show them the clothes you got from ThreadUp. Hmm, what a weird prompt. It's not a weird prompt. You guys know I love ThreadUp and this video is also sponsored by them. This tank top that I'm wearing is from them. If you don't know what they are though, they're an online consignment store. So it's like thrifting, but on your computer where you can look things up like Lululemon shorts and then they all just pop up in your size. It's been over a hundred degrees in Texas. So I got a ton of new shorts to wear running and playing ultimate Frisbee. This one's a cuter one to wear. This one is the brand Out From Under, the brand that they sell at Urban Outfitters and the estimated retail on this is $30, but I got it for $14.99. Crazy. And then the estimated retail of this skirt is $38. I got it for $18.99. This is one of my favorite thread up orders because I typed in Adidas shorts and I got so many cute ones. These green and pink ones. It's very trendy in the summer to wear like Adidas type shorts with a graphic tee, shoes like this, or to actually just like play frisbee in them, stuff like that. I also got this blue pair, which is so cute. And I got a pair of new Lululemon shorts because I've been running like four times a week. And these are good as new, but I got them so discounted. If you like the things that I picked out, you can actually click the link and see the exact things that I bought plus similar items and if you use this code you can get an extra 40% off your first order so thank you so much that up for sponsoring this video you've been amazing again I am staring at some books that I want to get so I hope I get a prompt that will help me get these books over there an author you've never read Ugh not the prompt that I wanted. Well, the only book on my new shelf that is an author I've never read is Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. This is a historical romance. And I don't think I've ever read a historical romance. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I get really intimidated by like the old English that I assume that they use, but maybe, I mean, it's probably not that difficult. <gasps> I'm not getting the prompts that I want. A genre you don't normally read. Okay. I actually do have a good book for this prompt. I'm in the middle of a sci-fi series. This is the third book of the Red Rising series, which is an adult sci-fi series, and I never read adult sci-fi. So this is Morning Star by Pierce Brown. I'm actually like 50 pages through it already, but it's just a really slow start, and I was getting confused with the character names, but my brother's actually reading this one and really loving it, so it's good motivation. I need to finish it this month, or else I'm probably gonna forget every character's name and have to start over from the beginning, and I don't want that to happen, so. This one's a big one, too. This is such a interesting stack of books we have here. I'm getting all yellow. A book with a pretty cover. Okay, this is like a 
freebie almost. This is an early copy of Check and Made by Ali Hazelwood. I've never been more excited for an ARC in my life. And I love chess, so to me, this is a beautiful cover. And this is her first young adult romance, I believe. I'm so excited to read this. There's actually so many prompts in here that I was like, I will be choosing this book if I get that prompt, but we got it. Ooh, a nonfiction. It's okay. That's good. I've been wanting to pick up some C.S. Lewis again. Okay, I really want to read The Four Loves by C.S. Lewis. I hear quotes from this one all the time. If you guys don't know, I love C.S. Lewis. He writes a lot of Christian nonfiction. This one is about affection, friendship, eros, and charity. Reading C.S. Lewis feels cozy for some reason, and he just explains things that I can't explain, and it's just comforting. It feels like feels like coming home. So I'm excited to read this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, this will be the last prompt. A book with yellow on the cover. You know, a lot of covers have yellow. This is a very obvious choice. This is a less obvious choice because it's the third book in a series, but I'm assuming I'm going to be reading the second book and then the third, so I could. I feel like it's a better bet that I'll read this one than this one, even though by choosing this one, I'm basically adding two books to my TBR. Might as well just go get it. So. I think I'm choosing this, which means I'm also choosing this. Okay, let's recap. What an interesting stack here. A lot of these books are ones that I just bought, which is really exciting because those are the ones that I'm most excited to read. We have a nonfiction in here that I've owned for a long time. We have a book I started, never finished, and I'm in the middle of a series, so that's great. And yeah, Killer Instinct. Between Us, Things You Save in a Fire, Bringing Down the Duke, Morning Star, Check and Mate, The Four Loves, Killer Instinct and All In. This will be very interesting when I do my September wrap up to see if I read all these because I also have to film other book related videos that might be me asking other people for book recommendations in which case I would have to read other books. So we'll see, but let me know if you like doing the TBR jar prompts. I kind of really enjoyed it actually to get a lot of things that I wouldn't normally read onto my TBR. Don't forget to also check out that link in my description and use the code on ThreadUp to get an extra 40% off your first order. Thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet.